But I caught the short. And this is the type of stuff that I'm not overly excited about explaining it to you. I will, but I just know that some of you are going to do things like this and you're not ready for it. So what I told my, my, my traders this morning is that when the stock was producing this bar, I'm like, shoot, I missed the long. All right, I'm going to go for the scalp short. Now, I'm going to start at the first area of resistance, which is the 20 period moving average, and the round number of 175 together. So I've got the first area of resistance, the 20, and the area of 195, the round number, in the same area. So I told the traders, I'm going to start layering orders for sale, for short, right under 195 up. Okay? I call this pyramiding. You start off sm with small layers, and then as you get higher, it gets bigger layers as you move deeper into resistance, right? So, first couple layers of my short orders get filled. Move up, move up, move up. Boom, boom, boom. So I'm filled nicely. And then I'm out in that area. There's the scalp. Now, why this area? Well, very simple. You see, big giant bars, I've taught you that big, uh, a regular bar Boom. You're working from high to low. And if it gets big enough, you're cutting the bar in half. If it gets stupid big, you're cutting the bar in thirds. So these are your two scenarios, right? You're not cutting the bar at all. The reference point is under this bar. This you're cutting this gets moved to the middle of this bar. You're cutting it in half. And this gets moved to the top third of the bar if it's super big. So for me, this is super big. We draw it in. This is version three. One, two, three. You've got to cut this bar in thirds. Boom, boom. There's my cover, one third. And that's basically what scalping is anyway. Trading is going for half. Scalping is going for the third. You got it? Trading is going for the half. Scalping is going for the third. You, should, you definitely want to know the distinction between the two.